G'day, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays! Today we got a special tutorial for you all out there. Star Fox 64 has finally been released from the shackles of Nintendo 64 and has been granted a PC port release by the great devs over at Ship of Harkonnen. They have made Starship Centauri Alpha, aka Star Fox PC 64. Harbour Masters made fantastic ports for the Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask PC ports. From this expertise, we now have Star Fox 64 and I'm going to show you through the ropes of installing it here today. It'll be a very fast, very simple setup. First things first, we're going to head to the Harbour Masters 64 Discord. This isn't a necessary step, I'm going to be linking directly towards their GitHub for Starship Centauri and we can download directly from that GitHub, but it's it's always good to be appreciative of the developers and show where they are so that you can find out more information from them, especially if you have issues in the future. We head to their GitHub, which is Harbormasters slash Starship. And at Harbormasters slash Starship, we scroll down to the releases, or you can just go directly into the releases from the description below. And at the releases page, there will be a Windows download button. It just looks like Windows. Later on, on, there is a good chance that we'll have Mac and Linux, but as of creating this video, only the Windows profile is available. I'm sure there will be a Mac and I'm sure there will be a Linux version very, very soon. Once we click on this, it will give us a zip file. Now, what's important for the zip file is that we have a Star Fox 64 version 1.1 ROM from USA. You're going to want to extract your Star Fox 64 one, version 1.1 USA into the same folder as your Starship Centauri Alpha window zip file. You're going to extract both these out and then you're going to need to double click on the generate otr.bat. Now this will bring up a command prompt that will actually take quite a while. This will convert the Star Fox 64 ROM into a starship.otr file and it will also give you a starship.exe. We then double click the starship.exe which reads the OTR file and activates the game for you to play. And there you've done it. You've installed Starship 64 on your system and you can now play Star Fox 64. But because this is a PC port, there are now numerous extra benefits such as complete controller remapping to however you best feel the game should be played. You can also have inverted controls or not have inverted controls. It doesn't have to be forced on you anymore. And with this mod, you can now have extreme ultra wide. And let me tell you, playing this game in extreme ultra wide is fantastic. But just playing in 16x9 is also really great. I really enjoy these PC ports. Now this comes from a decompiled ROM of Star Fox 64. This doesn't use recompile. However, I am still hopeful that recompile can become a greater and bigger emphasis in the Nintendo 64 modding community and Nintendo 64 porting community to PC. Unfortunately, it's not quite there yet, but what we do have in spades is fantastic PC ports by people over at Harbour Masters and they have done a brilliant job with this port so far. I expect that there'll be many many updates to this in the next couple of months to your year to really refine this PC port down to perfection. The Majora's Mask port when it originally came out about half a year ago now also had some very funky issues at the start but they have all been mostly smoothed out over the past six months and I expect this will be the same for Star Fox 64. If you do come across any issues from your expertise in Star Fox 64, let them know on the Discord. They read every single message there. Anyway, hope you guys have a fantastic Christmas. Have a happy holiday. And if it's not Christmas or happy holidays anymore when you're watching this video, well, I hope you're just having a great day. Goodbye. G'day.